Hello Amazon.com, it's me Bo Shevisu. I'm coming today with the Blue Fire 4800 DPI gaming mouse, professional gaming mouse. Yes, I do absolutely love this. I've been using it for all my video editing and I'm actually comparing it side by side with another mouse that you might find on Amazon for very, very reasonably priced as well. And it's also called a gaming mouse. And uh, for starters, this is much heavier, much higher quality. Um, that is, this is the blue fire version here. Hence the blue, I think it's supposed to be blue fire. And a little blue light is pulsing there, which is pretty neat. You can turn off that light by hitting this button on the bottom. If we were to hit that, so if that light bothers you, you can turn that off. Let's turn it back on, because I think it's kind of cool. As you see, it is a wireless mouse similar to this one, very similar type cord very difficult to tangle up. However, I'd say the main difference is this is very, very smooth. So I'm actually testing it on this little piece of aluminum. It's, it's a mouse pad and listen very carefully. You probably can't hear anything. This on the other hand, it's a bit of scraping, kind of plasticky. Uh, which I don't hold that against this. This I think was only like $9. So really I shouldn't be too picky on this, but you don't care about that. You're probably wondering about this guy, some of the features. Yes, it does work wonderfully, although it doesn't work 100% on a MacBook Pro. You're gonna have to get some sort of uh, better mouse touch tool or just, just Google around to see how you can customize each of these buttons on a Mac. However, it does work wonderfully on a PC with all these customizable buttons, uh, especially with the included software. Uh, by the way, it is a small disc, uh, which doesn't work in some laptops, so just be aware that you will need a way to put a small disc in. Uh, and that's the box, and then this is the manual. You probably don't care much about that. Let's move back to the mouse. Okay, you'll see that there's a thumb rest, which fits my hand perfectly. Very smooth, very nice and there's the scroll wheel and you can see it reacts wonderfully very very quickly uh wait 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 oh where there it is oh wait click click oh, oh we went back oh, i think i touched too many buttons here all right let's go back there we go all right so i do want to show one interesting thing right here which you're probably wondering about the scroll speed so as you can see it moves across the screen like so and i'm just moving it just ever so slightly like that. And if I were to click this button right here, that changes the track speed. So one, two, three, click. And now, as you can see, you can probably barely see the mouse because it's flying across the screen right now. And if I were to click it again, and then it goes to ultra, ultra, ultra slow, it's, I'm right there in the middle of the screen. And so there are pretty much, I, I think I counted four different modes. So this is slow, one, two, three and four. Four, the fastest is way too fast for me. I like to keep it at not slow, not medium slow, but medium fast. I prefer that for video editing and doing that on the computer all day. So as you can see, there's a button, uh, let's see here, 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 or you can just reach down like that, and here as well. If we were to look on the other side, uh, that is pretty much it. So um, these these fingers on the outside of your hand really are freed up just to move the mouse around. And then this, this uh, ring finger kind of hooks on this little extension right here. So you can really fly across as you're just gripping on this side and then that leaves all of these up for scrolling and clicking and around. Very, very, very customizable. This is up there with the rat mouses. If you're familiar with the rat as in R-A-T, those mice are really, really, really high quality and I love those. And uh, this really gives it a, a run for its money. This is a fantastic bang for its buck and I'd strongly recommend it if you're on your computer all day long or for many or for extended periods of time. That's it, there's my small little demonstration, review and field test of this little guy. Uh, my name is Bo Shevisu and I hope that this small little demonstration is helpful in determining whether or not this is the right mouse for you.